Our world constantly conspires against us to engage ego and defuse soul. What daily practices do you recommend to reconnect with the soul? Thank you. And thank you for the idea. Daily practice is really important, not in the sense of duty, not necessarily uh, because of, of um, repetition value, uh, but the idea that we're practicing being ourselves. That's the nature of the unique project of each life. Each life is an experimental uh, practice uh, of becoming. And so then the question becomes, what helps each of us become? And so I'll say a couple things about that. Uh, when I'm up in the morning, if I have even a thread of dream, that's the first I'm, thing I'm doing. I should actually tell the truth. It's not the first thing. The first thing I'm doing is making black tea. That's the first thing I'm doing. Um, I don't, can't explain that. I think that's an Irish heritage too. But um, I get that tea to, in a strange way, awaken, and I'm holding the thread of the dream while I'm making the tea. And then I write it down. And then I write about it. And then I associate with it. That would be the first thing. That's a practice. It's a very easy practice. Some mornings it only takes a few minutes and sometimes I'll be at it for five hours because that thread will open the inroads of the soul and the numinous enters and all of a sudden I'm in the other world. And then I do a second practice, which is a writing practice. It's just what I do. Uh, in between the kind of uh, enraptured uh, moments of writing and, and recollecting, I do physical exercises and stretches. I'm just telling you what I do, answering the question. But the idea is not to do what I do, is to find out what you do. Um, because in that process, which involves, by the way, I used to only write with a pen, which is a physical activity. It's interesting, and it's a rhythmic physical activity. But now I often do it on a computer. But still, I stop and stretch. I go outside and then back inside. Um, and I, I spend a whole morning doing that. Um, so that's one thing. I'm just su suggesting the idea of having not a morning routine, but a morning practice. And then for some people, the practice is very repetitive. I like the sense of leaving it opening to shifting and changing and where the soul might want to go. And I'll add one more thing about the practice. If something shows up in a dream, um, like honey shows up in the dream, I will then go get honey. In other words, I, I will try and connect the daily world to the dream world. Uh, they call it the symbolic life, life, taking the symbol from the dream and moving it into life to keep the dream connected to the world. Um, so those are just a few things. And then the two basic roads of practice, and people should experiment on both, are the um, kind of meditative contemplative practices, which now, have, you know, in a very good way, have become part of the Western world where that tradition had been lost. And then the other road is the expressive practices of art. Uh, and so making music in the morning, singing a song, I will sing in the morning. I will, you know, just take a song or chant that I know and make that part of the morning. The idea is to feel where one's own soul wants to go and then be ready to adjust that and shift that as life itself changes. We cannot find inner unity and we cannot find moments of wholeness and we cannot find much coherence if we don't have practices. And right now, in the midst of so many confusing things in the world, there's more information about practices than I've ever seen before. And I want to make it just a simple suggestion. The soul, just the way the Native American idea, the second soul is connected to a bird or a tree or certain stones, uh, a person will have natural inclinations to certain practices. It isn't that there's a hierarchy. It's that there's inclinations and magnetic pulls and we have to learn to trust the soul's knowledge about what paths of practice we should be on. But to get through the chaos of the world right now, practice of some kind is needed. Thank you.